Got invited to the 27 club, 27 drugs, 27 plugs, still don't show Yo, what's good guys, it's Zips, and I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to separate your audios for Streamlabs OBS, so that way your VODs and your uploads don't have music or any audio that you don't really want. So basically, you're going to start a brand new scene. For the tutorial, I'll just call it new. In that scene, you're going to add new sources and then it's going to be application audio capture so basically this is going to be all the apps that you have or that you're going to be streaming that have an audio coming from them so basically for this tutorial I'm going to do discord you'd hit enter and then you find the app so just up you exit that I'm going to add a music source and for me I'm going to be using Google Chrome so you add new source change the name to whatever we're going to be doing music like I said add the Chrome and then lastly just for this we're going to add a 5M for our game audio so add new 5M and then you find the app on your list of processes so once you get that, you're going to have all of your inputs over here in your mixer. So for us, you're going to want to mute your speaker, whatever your default thing is, unless you have a mixer plugged in and you can separate all your audios, just mute your desktop audio. So that's this, that would be 5M music, that's absolutely everything. So just mute that and play with these. So basically, even with this, We'll hide it, actually. So with that hidden, we have four audio tabs. Our mic, 5M, music, and Discord. So you're gonna wanna go over into your settings. You can go to output in advanced mode. Take note that your streaming audio track, which goes to Twitch or wherever, is on one. You're gonna wanna go over to the recording tab and make sure that you do not have one selected so basically all audio will go to twitch but only certain audio will be recorded and we have four separate tracks so one two three four yours will probably look like this when you first start just untick this and tick these ones or however many you need and then you're gonna hit done. So once you hit done, you're gonna go to settings, advanced audio settings over here, and this is where you get to select all of your tracks. So basically, music, which is over here on Chrome, if we hit mute and we start playing the song, it's over here on this track. So if we slide that down so you can hear me actually over it, you're going to go back into the advanced audio settings and for stream it's going to be playing but for recording it's not going to be recording and you're going to want to untick everything in recording so that it does it completely neglects this track so basically once you do that if you hit record just to test it out so now it's recording it should only show the microphone I mean, not show, but it will only, you'll only hear the microphone and you'll only hear 5M. So when we stop that and we go into the recording, we'll pause the music too. We'll hear my voice and we'll also hear the audio of the game. The rain and the cars, whatever it is. So as you can see there's no music audio, but if you're live on whatever platform you're streaming on, the music and all audio tracks will be on your stream. So anyway, if you guys, once you add all of your sources, all of your 
application audio sources you can go ahead and plug in all of your traditional regular sources that you stream with on the day to day but if you guys enjoyed I would appreciate it if you give the video a like and subscribe if you're new I got a lot more stuff coming as I've been pretty silent on the channel as of lately but yeah I'll see you guys in the next one